So you're pitching a VC and the VC asks you, what are the key assumptions in your model? If you don't know the answer, stick with me and we're going to run through it. Ask Alex. Ask Alex. Because you don't know what you don't know. And if you don't know, now you know. Yeah. So what does the investor mean? If you didn't see the previous question before the video that we just did, model means financial model or fundraising model. They can be pretty large. A lot of investors aren't <laughs> super amazing in Excel, really, by the way. So they might be loath to delve into the trees of your 20-sheet Excel file. They may just want to know what your key numbers are. They want to track your growth, see if your metrics make sense, hopefully. Now, your model is a sales model, like all of your material. You need to tell a VC scale story, but if you read nothing else, read this. Under no circumstances, tell investors your numbers are conservative. This is just so super cliche, it's not even funny. Everyone says it and it's always total bullshit. Investors will literally smirk if you say those magical words. Just don't even if your numbers are conservative. The only exception is if you're getting on really well with the investor and they say something like, you know, your numbers aren't huge. I mean, how could you make them larger? Then you can say, well, to be honest, we're trying to be realistic and conservative. We actually think we could do more, but we'd rather give you something that we can exceed uh, as the next stage investors would love to see a chart of how we overperformed, what we said we would do. Another key thing to learn is that all models are wrong, but some are useful. Your numbers will not be right. They can be really wrong though. So mitigate you looking dumb. In order to answer this question, you need to know what the assumptions are in your model. Surprise! So tell them the key ones. Double shock. You can tell a story with numbers, so do that. Maybe start with your goal and then what key things that you're going to do to hit that goal. How will spending money drive the top line? What will be your contribution margin after explaining the components of your cogs? How do you think the evolution of your CAC will play out depending on the channels you're going to leverage? What will be the impact of churn, etc.? You do not need to list every simple assumption. The investor asks you what the key numbers are. Remember, your meeting is also maybe like a max one hour. So stay on track, stay focused, control that conversation, and don't even let the investors go too far off track. So what do you need to say? Cool. Our goal with this round is to get to 10 million ARR. So let's focus on the key drivers and how we're going to get there in 18 months from where we are at present. We are a SaaS company. We generate revenue by the number of customers we have, how much we charge them per month, and how long we keep them, meaning the churn rate and finally expansion revenue through our upsell. Our profitability is determined by our COGS. To get to our gross profit, we deduct our operating expenses, and for really the key component of our OPEX is our staff. Given the stage we're at, the top line, our COGS are our biggest focus. We want to move a contribution margin from 65 to 85%. Our new CTO is working on a new architecture, which we will think will considerably use less API calls, and therefore COGS will come up because of it. Now, on the revenue side, to be more specific, we have three pricing packages. We're going to be more heavily promoting the share of the middle package, which will bring our ARPA up from about 600 bucks to a thousand over the next four months. Our churn rate is presently about four and a half percent monthly, which is good. I know not great. We're going to bring this under four percent through a more aggressive customer success program. As we're still subscale, we assume our OPEX will range between about 100 to 120 percent of revenue for the next 16 months. And then as we can scale that up, hopefully that'll come down. Does that answer your question? Okay, guys, that's it. If you want more, as usual, head over to alexanderjarvis.com. Bye.